So this is Vikrant Chaturvedi, who is an actor. So Vikrant, why don't you give us a brief of your career? Where did you study and what is your main motivation to be an actor? So um, I was born in a small town in Allahabad, not, uh, not really a very small town, but now a reasonably big town called Allahabad in UP. And uh, my father was an IAS officer who was serving in Madhya Pradesh. But since he was uh, constantly getting transferred from one city to another, I was uh, stationed in Allahabad because the schooling was very good and my grandparents used to stay there. So I started in Allahabad. Then I went to Delhi, did a lot of uh, uh, education in Delhi. And in Delhi, uh, I started doing theater. Actually, I started doing theater at the fag end of my Allahabad stay. But I went to Delhi and started doing theater almost professionally. And from theater, then I moved to television. Um, I, went, I was uh, in Jaipur doing a show, uh, a stage show where Akbar Khan, who's a very famous uh, film director, was shooting for this TV show. And I met him and uh, he liked me and he offered me a part in his serial. And then I quit theater for a while and then started shooting with him. And since it was a Bombay-based production, then along with um, him, I came to Bombay once the shoot got over. And then I started doing acting full time. Now to answer your second question that, uh, how did I get into this? Well, I was, um, I was always very interested in acting. I was always, I was always somebody who, who loved the limelight, who wanted to be on stage. And uh, I used to sing in the school choir. I used to do a lot of theater in school. Um, I, was, I was always somebody, I was, I was a debating champion. I used to do a lot of elocution. So I was always on stage and I wanted Probably I was always craving for that attention of people like, you know, of being in front of an audience or a camera and showing my skills or my, you know, craft to them. I, always from childhood onwards, like even at a party, I used to dance. And, you know, as a kid, I, people tell me that I have stories that I used to dance a lot in front of uh, relatives and friends who used to come. Uh, the thing is that, um, fortunately or unfortunately, I was also a very good student. I used to talk in my class all the time. So when I decided to join uh, the film industry or take up acting as a professional um, career, there was definitely a lot of uh, uh, issues that uh, everybody around me uh, faced because they could never expect that somebody who's so bright uh, in ac academics would do something like acting for a career. In fact, if you know, there is a UPSC examination which selects uh, IAS and IPS officers. Uh, and I had cleared that examination as well. And I did not get the rank to become an IAS officer, but I could have got some other post. The, the logical thing for anybody was to retain that post and maybe give an attempt again to, uh, and join the government services. But I somehow did not, did not want to go there. And I, I went and applied to the National School of Drama in Delhi instead, where actually I did not get through, but I immediately went to the Sriram Center repertory. Uh, the NSD school used to go to the repertory and I, I got a direct invitation from the repertory to join. So once I joined the repertory, um, my profession, my theater or acting as a profession started because we, we were a traveling company and we were getting paid per month and we used to go all around India as well as uh, in Delhi and we used to do our plays. So that was my initial, um, what should I say, the initial start to acting as a career. And then one thing led to the other, and then I came to Bombay, then I started doing television, I started doing a lot of theater. I started, I worked with Alec Padamsi, with Rahul Dakunia, Lilith Dubey, Rail Padamsi, yeah, you name it. My last outing was in Aladdin, the, the, the Disney show, where I played Jafar. And similarly, I started doing a lot of TV simultaneously with all big production houses like VR and Karnik and Balaji and Rashmi Sharma, Kontilo and all these big production houses started casting in the TV shows. And I started doing the occasional film as well. With Subhash Gai, I did Black and White. With Sham Benegal, I did uh, 
Boost, The Forgotten Hero. I did Tere Bin Laden. I did, uh, you know, a number of films. I started with Ghadar, the film which is probably one of India's biggest blockbusters. And I'm actually a small part of it. It was my first film in Bombay in the year 2000. So, like I was telling you, one thing led to another. Uh, it, um, it wasn't really, everything was not really planned. But I think it was the urge to do something which is public oriented or performance oriented was inside me right from the time I was a kid. And I think I just followed my instincts and I just followed my heart. All right. So what guidance do you have for students today who are looking to pursue a career in acting? Uh, see, the, uh, it is a career at the end of the day. You have... Um, you put it very rightly. It is not a job. It's not a hobby. It's a job. It's a very, uh, it's a job that requires a lot of hard work. It's also a job where relying completely on acting can be a little difficult because uh, you may not get good quality work all the time. You have to treat it like a profession. Like a profession, it has a lot of demands. You cannot come unprepared into this profession. This profession demands a lot of things. It demands a certain kind of discipline. It demands a certain kind of dedication. It demands a lot of hard work. Like for instance, uh, you have to work a lot on your body. You have to work a lot on your voice. You have to work a lot on your expressions. You have to work on everything to become a complete actor. And it's not very easy. A lot of people look at it from outside and feel it's very, very easy uh, becoming an actor. What do you have to do? You have to speak a few lines. You have to maybe sing a song, you know, run around the bushes and sing songs. But that's not what it's all about. It's very difficult. So you have to learn the craft. I mean, how do you emote in front of a thousand, you know, a crowd of a thousand people when you're on stage without getting nervous, without um, realizing all uh, the intricacies that are involved uh, while you act on stage, remembering your cues, remembering your lines, remembering where the light is, how much sound you need to project and give a good performance. It requires a lot of training. And similarly in television and film, how you act in front of a camera with the character is not even there. You're just acting in front of the camera. There may be hundreds of people around the camera here. They're distracting you, but you have to, you have to be you have to be so concentrated and focused and you have to be the character despite knowing fully well that you you are not in the space you're not in the correct space where that character would be you're actually on a film set and everything is cheating you're just trying to cheat and you're trying to create that atmosphere so basically it's it's a very hard working job it's a profession just like every other profession, it, it's going to have its ups and downs. There are going to be times when you'll not have work. There are going to be times when you'll have a lot of work. You'll have to negotiate your timings accordingly. Uh, it is not a nine-to-five job to begin with. It is a full-time job. It's a, like a shooting hour is also like something like nine-to-nine, nine-to-ten. So the whole day you're shooting. And the days when you're not shooting, you're kind of free or relaxed, uh, is also not the day when you're sitting at home doing nothing. Those days you have to spend time in the gym, you have to spend time on your voice, you have to spend time doing exercises to hone your skills, to work on your body, to work on the skills that you need. Today's acting requires a lot of action, a lot of dance, a lot of horse riding skills, you know, a lot of martial arts, hundreds of things that are required. And you need to come trained for it in case you really want to um, be uh, successful in this profession. The ability to concentrate, the ability to learn lines. I mean, this, it, it's possible that you'll get lines like 10 minutes, 15 minutes before the shot is to be taken and it may be a page full of lines and you should have the art to remember it and speak your lines and believe in the lines and speak them, making them your own. So what I'm trying to tell is that it's a full profession. It's a lovely profession to be in. I have no regrets and that's why we are all here. There's a different kind of a high when you're an actor, when you get applause, when people recognize you or 
uh, when uh, you know in the audience somebody claps somebody comes backstage and says you're so good it's a different kind of a high but it's the profession at the end of the day it's not uh, it's not just glamour that you're going around and posing in front you know just wearing good clothes wearing some makeup and posing no 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 it's a lot of hard work it requires it very long demanding hours and you have to come prepared for it and treat it like a profession treat it exactly like the way you would approach if you were trying to sit for an ias examination or a medical examination or you know if you want to get into iit or mba or you know something like that and the amount of time that you give it to it uh, give it give to that profession i mean if you're willing to study 6 hours a day uh to become a a doctor maybe or an engineer you should also truly and genuinely believe that you may just have to work out for four hours a day to become an actor to get a great physique and you should not take that casually that oh this person is studying i'm just working out no that's also an important demand of your profession because you are the product you are how you look you are the product so you have to constantly work on yourself as a product so it's uh, my advice to all the youngsters is that if you want to become actors you're more than welcome to join the profession but remember it's a profession it's it's a very serious job you you should not and cannot take it lightly and come prepared come prepared and come uh, and come prepared of being tough you you need to be tough because there are going to be heartbreaks there are going to be successes there are going to be failures and you have to live your life with success and failure as to you know sides of the same coin so you have to be mentally physically and emotionally prepared before you come to become an actor all right so thank you vivek 